Hi! Today we're going to be talking about soul purpose, which I'm sure we will talk about much more. But I wanted to do a little introduction to soul purpose and talking about this really cool guy. This guy, Wilson Bentley, he was born in 1865 and he grew up on a farm in Vermont with his family. He was gifted a microscope when he was 15. He was outside looking at the snow falling and he thought, I wonder what this would look like under a microscope. So he took the snow and he looked at it under the microscope. He was like, whoa, this is really cool. It's an ice crystal. And then it melted. So then he was like, ooh, I wonder if I look at it and then I draw it really quick. Maybe that's the best way to do it. And then I can capture it. So he looked and he like drew half of it and then it was like, ugh. Have to figure this out. His family saved up enough money after a couple years to buy him a camera. And so he had this whole elaborate setup. And then when he was 20 years old, he actually captured the snowflake on camera. He went on to publish papers and do awesome things. He published in magazines. In his lifetime, he took 5,000 images of snowflake. <laughs> even after all of his buddies when he was a kid were like wow you're really weird why are you holed up in a barn taking pictures of snowflakes all day all those other 17 year old kids are probably out playing football and all this stuff and he's like no sorry guys i'm busy i have to take a picture of a snowflake oh. back let it go okay geez wait i have a disney peanut gallery awesome So now it's time to light a candle. You can tell that I just blew it out so that we can relight it. This one goes out to supporting all of our movers and shakers. People that focus on a project or focus on a goal, something that they're passionate about, that they really want to change the world. We're sending love your way and a big blast of unicorns and rainbows. What the? Have you ever heard the phrase, no two snowflakes are alike? This idea came from Bentley. His research suggested that due to the hexagonal structure of ice crystals, it was highly unlikely that two would ever be the same. As the crystals descend from the clouds, they ride air currents up and down through pockets of different temperatures. And this causes the drastic fluctuations among crystalline structure. And now it's time for Reflections with Wine. Non-alcoholic, warm wine minus the grapes plus a tea bag. So soul purpose. We are all unique souls. We all have different personalities, different traits, different interests, different experiences. It means that we're all gonna have different goals. We all need to support each other and appreciate that we don't all have the same interests and goals. This kid who's 15 years old wanting to take a picture of a snowflake, like no one realized the impact that this would have. He was published in National Geographic, Nature, Popular Science, and Scientific American. Aren't the snow crystals just like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It makes me want to look at stuff under a microscope, that's for sure. I tried to look at some of my crystals under a microscope the other day, but they were too big and you needed to have like a little tiny, like whatever those are called. Uh, my husband's a scientist and I don't even know this. The little, you know, the little dish that you put under the microscope. You put the slot, like the slot, it's not a slot, whatever it's called. You gotta have like bothered me anyway